So the classical presentation for patients who are coming in with bladder cancer is going to be gross, painless hematuria, meaning that they have visible blood in their urine and it's not painful when they're getting rid of it. Um, so what, what they're looking at at this study is, was they start off looking at if there's a disparity between genders and race to see if patients got worked up when they had blood in their urine. I'm not sure with the way the abstract is, and I can tell whether this was visible hematuria or microscopic hematuria, and we'll sort of see that. But it has a lot to do with diagnosis because that's how the urologist sort of initiates the workup to look for cancers or other etiologies of blood in the urine. So that's the big part. So one of the arguments we've had as a urological community for a long time and one of our education efforts to the general practitioner communities that refer patients to us is if patients have blood in their urine, we need to see them. Um, and you know, the EU has recently published guidelines on both microscopic and gross hematuria. Um, we've recently published a chapter from our institution and, and cons, which we submitted to say, you know, this is how the workup needs to be done. And so, a referral to a urologist in a timely fashion is very, very important. And I think what this study is sort of highlighting is to say, look, it's not happening, especially in women. Um, a lot of the times they have blood in the urine and they're not getting evaluated, they're not getting referred. And I think this showed something, some exaggerated, I, I don't mean exaggerated, uh, an alarming rate of about 60% of patients who came in with hematuria but never got the workup. And if you look at a patient population of over 50 years, so patients who are over the age of 50, um, and they present with gross hematuria, more than 50% of them are going to have some diagnosable problem that's causing that, um, and most of that is going to be cancer in the bladder. So you can imagine if somebody's going to in the urine, you ignore it, then they're going to, you, they're, you're basically letting the cancer be, which can progress, and you have a late diagnosis. So I think that's what this study is trying to highlight.